So today we're coming to you live from Oregon State University's Food Innovation Center. And we're gonna help you make some gazpacho for your dinner this evening. Um, Mike here is gonna help by putting everything together for us. And we're gonna start by putting the vegetable broth into the blender. Now, if you don't have a blender, feel free to use your food processor. In this case, we're gonna use a Vitamix. Um, you need the whole container, one carton. Pacific uh, Foods is right here in Oregon in Tualatin, and they're one of our, um, well, they're an older company and they've been around for a really long time, so I consider them sort of a founding processor here in Oregon. Then we would need about two cups or a pound of tomatoes that are chopped. You wanna wash and chop them. And if you like tomatoes, you can always add more. So it's kind of an approximate, maybe go another cup just for good measure. And then we need about the same amount of the cucumbers. So give us about two to three cups of cucumbers. In this case, we chose the Persian cucumber, but any cucumber will work. And then we're gonna add in a cup of red bell pepper. A a one clove of garlic. Two tablespoons of the sherry vinegar. and some salt and pepper to taste. In this case, we're gonna add about, oh, maybe a half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Then we're just gonna blend it up. Make sure and put the lid on. That's good. After you've um, blended it, you add in the olive oil and you blend it till it's smooth. So you're creating an emulsion. Go for a while. A little longer. Yeah. There you go. There we go. Now we'll put it back in the bowl. (laughs) There we go. And now we're gonna garnish it with some fresh vegetables, same ones that we put into the soup. And they're gonna sink in. But we're gonna put some, uh, some nice herbs on top. Maybe some basil, some green onion. And if you have some bread cubes, you can put bread cubes also. I would say this is about the easiest summer soup you can make. There we go. Ta-da. Good job, Mike. Oh, thank you. It was my first time. Anyone can do it. (laughs) Even me. All right. Okay. What do we do? We are going to be making a salad niçoise, I believe is how it's pronounced. Uh, So we are first going to lay out the vegetables on the bottom of the dish. We have this nice butter lettuce. We're going to start building a a little a little bed base for our salad. It's a lovely tender butter lettuce. So that's good. Washing this is good. That looks great. Yeah, so we're going to lay that out. Next, we're going to uh, fill in some of that empty space with some tomatoes in the the middle of the dish. Just kind of layer that in all nicely. These we've just cut. 
we washed them and cut them. <laughs> yeah, just kind of fill in some of those some of those gaps. It's almost like painting. It's almost like painting, except it's in yeah. three dimensions. Uh, next, we're going to add in the, I believe it is the diced cucumber, which is okay. elsewhere. I'm get that. Yes, I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and we're gonna di we're gonna do a live dicing demo for you today. Uh -oh. Remember, protect your fingers because you cannot grow them back. Excellent technique. Careful they don't slip slide around. It's actually hard. Yes. Gosh, Do you need a cut glove? Look nice. <laughs> I'm a little scared for myself. Oh no. I believe in you. Also gonna need bell pepper. We got bell pepper. We got bell pepper? Oh that's great. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, use a scoopy, kind of fill in, yeah, just kind of, so it's like a vegetarian uh, crouton. Bring it in over oh, the top. That's okay. That's okay. Spills, spills happen. Vegetarian crouton. <laughs> I mean, I guess a lot of croutons are veg, probably most. Uh, <laughs> okay. Bell peppers? Yeah. Yeah, put that over there in the, the landing zone. Some bell peppers for you. <laughs> I cut these a little differently. Yeah, they're kind of matchsticked, I would say. And then again, just kind of building up your layers, filling in some of that empty space, making it pretty. As pretty as you want it to be. It looks like a party. It does look like a party. With no more than eight people. Perfect. Excellent. Next, we're going to add the artichoke hearts. Got some lovely canned marinated artichoke hearts. I love these because they're just ready to roll. Yes. Do you know, once I was making artichokes at home, and I like trimmed them down completely until there was just this little heart portion, and Stacy walked in the kitchen and was like, what are you doing? That's not how my mom does it. I had ruined our artichoke dinner. But Oops. now we know how to make them. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Did you rebuild? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> After the artichoke hearts have filled in some of that space, we're going to go with the blanched green beans, which look lovely, bright green in color. Yeah. I'm going to maybe give them a snap. It's going to match perfectly with that size of the bell pepper. What's next is the tuna. We're going to do uh, the chunk tuna in the, in the middle. And then we'll add the black olives evenly around the dish. Got some, can, uh, some local tuna. Fair Pacific wild albacore. To a cup. you need a towel? Yeah, I do. I have one for you. Come on. Come on. Oh, beautiful. Here you are. You're very welcome. As we started, I was like, <laughs> oh, I don't have a towel. Uh-oh. Oh, you don't fold. OK. <laughs> All right, I'm going to break this up just a little bit. Then I am going to go in. And maybe we need a little more. Maybe a little more.
It's looking lovely, though. Yeah, I'm excited to eat this. OK, uh, olives. Olives kind of uh, spread evenly around the dish. Okay. I'm cut these. Nice. A little bit. Do these? They do have pits. Oh, they have pits. It's OK. Beware. Just sort of go around them like an avocado. Oh, that's clever. Let's see if it works. That's food innovation. Well, gravity does affect olives. Do you like olives? I love olives. Yeah, me too. I like all of the olives. As long as it's not as close up on my hands right now, I think it's okay. Yeah. We can just skip that olive. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Uh oh. Maybe it's that variety. This is a no pit. Pitted? Pitted olives would be useful, unless you have a pitter. Looks pretty good. Okay. Excellent. Now we're going to uh, cut up the hard boiled eggs, and we're going to do half of the egg on each side of the dish. Excellent. Cool. And then we've got um, some finishing touches to add. Ooh. Yes. So we need some anchovy on each egg. And then we'll need some spring onions. They're fantastic. Oh yeah, get some get some oil on there. Very nice. Okay. And we need some spring onion. I believe you have some pickled shallot as well that yeah. hasn't made it in yet. These are good for like all sorts of things too. Oh, everything. Sandwiches. Wraps. Do you make burritos at home? I don't. I leave that to like I leave it better. to the expert. It's always better when one's made for you. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we'll also want uh, maybe some some chives cut up, um, and some salt and pepper and olive oil. And, this, and then is there a, is there an additional dressing that goes on this as well? I was going to use some of the pickling liquid. That sounds nice. With some oil. Yeah, you could also use uh, lemon juice if you wanted, or uh, an assortment of vinegars. I'm not going to cut these super fine. I like that. It helps it rhyme with the, uh, the bell pepper and the green bean. <laughs> <laughs> it's important for your food to rhyme. Maybe some of this? Yeah, what is it? Mint. Oh, mint, sure. Most people probably have some of this in their backyard. Or on their balcony. On their balcony. Or at their local market. Probably covers it. Okay. Yeah, salt and pepper. pepper. Maybe some a pinch. A pinch, probably a pinch. It's usually the right amount. And then the pickling liquid. Pretty color. Reminiscent of grapefruit juice, perhaps. A little bit of this. Oh yeah, oil. You can't forget the oil. That looks lovely. And Oh, yeah. So fancy. OK. 
Okay. Here we are. That's everything I had written down. So it's ready, right? Perfect. Look at that. That's exciting. It looks so hard to eat. <laughs> <laughs>